The movie kicks off with the introduction of an Indian scientist named Sanjay Mera. He lives in Canada with his wife Sonia. All his life, Dr. Mehta has tried to contact aliens by using the gadgets and computers made by him. He sends variations of the syllable OM to faraway galaxies hoping to contact aliens. One evening, Dr. Mehta receives a reply. He's amazed and shares the news with his wife. Afterwards, the two drive to the Research and Space Center to share his findings. But his colleagues laugh at him and dismiss his claims. Dejected, he returns home with his wife. However, on their way back, the sky lights up and a spacecraft appears overhead. Dr. Mera is astonished, and as he sticks his head out of the car window to observe the spacecraft, he drives off the road. Sonia is thrown out of the car, but Dr. Mera is not so lucky. The car explodes, killing him instantly. A traumatized Sonia can only watch in horror and scream. After the accident, Sonia returns home to India, where she gives birth to her son Rohit in a hill station in Kasauli. Rohit is born with developmental disability due to the injury he suffered in the accident while in his mother's womb. Sonia consults with the doctors, and she's told that although a surgery may cure Rohit, it could also result in paralysis or death. The movie then fast forwards several years, and Rohit grows up to become a man of limited intellect, but with a huge heart and a loyal group of young friends. One day, Rohit and his friends get into an argument with Raj, the district collector's son. Raj tries to threaten them with his goon pals, but Rohit and his young friends knock down their bikes and run away. We're then introduced to Nisha, a young lady and childhood friend of Raj. Nisha has come to Kasoli with her parents to meet Raj and his family after 15 years. Rohit and his friends eventually meet Nisha and play childish pranks on her. However, when his mother finds out about the pranks, she reprimands him and advises him to apologize to her for his behavior. One day, Rohit notices Nisha's car parked outside a salon. Remembering his mother's advice, he writes a note saying sorry and tries to leave it in her car. However, when he's unable to keep it from falling down, he naively places some chewing gum on her car seat to make the note stick. Unfortunately, before he could complete the task, Raj and his friends arrive and apprehend him. They assume he was sticking gum on the car despite his claims that he only wanted to apologize. At the same time, Nisha arrives and accuses Rohit of harassing her. In retribution, Raj and his gang beat Rohit and break his scooter. After the gang leaves, Sonia arrives and sees a devastated Rohit holding his broken scooter parts. Upset, she confronts Nisha, Raj, and their friends at a cafe for attacking her son. She tells Nisha that Rohit is mentally disabled and he can't tell right from wrong. She acknowledges that Nisha couldn't have known better, but Raj and his friends know Rohit as they used to be classmates once. She remarks that if ordinary people are like Nisha and Raj, she is glad that Rohit is disabled. When Sonia shows her that Rohit was actually trying to apologize to her, Nisha is shocked and she feels terrible about judging him too soon. The following day, she visits Rohit's school and sees his teacher belittling him for his low grades and kicking him out of the computer class. Upset, Rohit goes outside and sits by himself while fighting back tears. Later, Nisha visits his home and surprises him with a bike and apologizes to him. Initially, Rohit tries to ignore her, but he eventually forgives her when she makes Raj and his friends apologize to him at the dance bar. However, the gang again tries to mess with Rohit and they get him drunk. Worried, Nisha intervenes and drops him off at home. Over time, the two become best friends. Rohit's young friends begin to wonder if they're in a romantic relationship. Meanwhile, Nisha tells her father about Rohit's disability, and in return, he mentions that his only cure is love and affection. Therefore, one day when Rohit visits her home and presents her a rose, she kisses him on the cheek and kindly tells him that she's now his girlfriend. She also introduces him to her parents and shows him her computer. Afterwards, Rohit takes her to his home and shows her his father's old computer. They set it up, and Rohit shows her how to send the ohm signal via the old computer. 
The following day, Rohit and Nisha attend Raj's basketball game. Raj and his team win, and seeing Nisha's excitement for the game, Rohit decides to learn how to play. Later that night, he practices the game by himself. However, he's spotted by Raj and his friends. They offer to teach him, but when Rohit agrees, they harass him and hit him repeatedly with the basketball. Raj then warns him against seeing Nisha before leaving. In the next scene, a devastated Rohit heads home crying. He prays to God to make him stronger and smarter. Lo and behold, his father's computer starts going off, and it receives signals from the aliens. Amused, Rohit goes near the device and starts responding to the aliens. Suddenly, it starts to thunder, and Sonia finds him messing with the computers. Worried about him meeting his father's fate, she slaps him and orders him to go to bed. Meanwhile, the entire town's lights go out, and a huge spaceship appears over Kasauli. The power eventually returns, and the news of the UFO spreads around the country like wildfire. Later, the town authorities find the landing site of the UFO. There, they find footsteps of the aliens emerging from the spaceship. After examining the evidence, the authorities conclude that the aliens left in haste, leaving one of them behind. The district collector orders the police to secretly look for the creature. Nisha learns about the abandoned alien from her father, and she immediately tells Rohit about it. The two then go looking for the alien in the jungle, and lo and behold, they come across the little blue alien. They save him from wild dogs and bring him back home. To their astonishment, they learn that the alien has magical powers and he can heal people. Therefore, they name him Jadu. A flashback then reveals that the alien abruptly left after they came under the attack of wild elephants. It's also revealed that the alien derives its energy from the sun. Rohit tries his best to hide the alien in his outhouse, but his young friends eventually find out about him. Left with no choice, Rohit is forced to come clean, and he introduces his friends to Jadu. Meanwhile, Raj gets insecure of Nisha's growing closeness with Rohit, so he spreads false rumors that he's getting married to Nisha. This upsets the latter and she confronts him. Raj explains that they're perfect for each other and he wants to marry as soon as possible. He also expresses concerns about her friendship with Rohit. Enraged, Nisha reminds him that she doesn't like liars and he doesn't have any say in her personal life. Meanwhile, Rohit is affected by the circulating rumors and he starts lamenting why he couldn't be born as a normal man. Sonia comforts him and tells him about the accident that made him the way he is. Meanwhile, Jadu secretly watches Rohit's breakdown about his mental abnormality and decides to do something. He uses his magical powers and miraculously enhances Rohit's mind. Shockingly, the following day, Rohit wakes up with clear vision. He doesn't need to wear glasses anymore. Later, he's able to solve a 10th grade mathematics problem, much to the astonishment of his teacher and the principal. He also lectures his computer teacher for berating him and putting him down for being slow. He explains that a teacher is supposed to be supporting and encouraging, not harassing. The same day, Raj's friends once again try to bully Rohit, but this time he beats them up effortlessly. This reveals that Jadu also enhanced his physical powers. Later, Rohit and Nisha meet and clear their differences over her marriage rumors. Rohit demonstrates to her that he's slowly maturing physically and mentally. Afterwards, he thanks Jadu for bringing a positive change in his life. Unfortunately, as he hugs the alien, Sonia walks in and notices him. Haunted by the bad memories associated with aliens, she reacts badly and proceeds to call the police. However, right then, she gets a call from the school principal, who informs her that Rohit has changed a lot over the last few days, and he's being promoted to grade 10. Rohit then explains that it's all happening because of Jadu. With this, Sonia finally changes her mind and embraces the alien in gratitude. Meanwhile, the city's chief inspector, Khan, alerts India's space research organization about the footprints. He also receives permission from the district collector to capture the alien dead or alive. Hell-bent on wooing Nisha, Rohit enters himself into a dance competition to test out his abilities. 
Nisha tries to stop him to save him from the embarrassment, but Rohit competes. To everyone's surprise, he dances excellently and manages to win the competition. Raj and his friends also arrive at the venue, and when they try to intimidate Rohit, he challenges them to a basketball game. The scene then cuts to the game, where Rohit and his young friends compete against Raj and his professional team. Jadu is hidden in a small box, but unfortunately, because of the cloudy weather, he isn't able to help Rohit and his team. As a result, the opposition team racks up a lot of points. But just when it appears as if Rohit and his team are about to lose, the sun eventually comes out. Jadu immediately helps his friends by bestowing them with superhuman jumping abilities. As the crowd looks in astonishment, the kids, led by Rohit, easily win the game. Afterwards, Nisha takes Rohit home and the latter confesses his love for her in front of her parents. He also assures them that he is perfectly fine now and that he is right for their daughter. Nisha is also taken aback, but she reciprocates his love. Meanwhile, Raj and his friends get suspicious and they corner Rohit's young friends later that night to get to the bottom of the truth. The children are forced to flee, but in the process, Jadu accidentally falls from their grip. Police Constable Sukwani ends up noticing Jadu in the bag and he informs other policemen about him. The other cops soon arrive and surround the bag. However, before they could get to him, Rohit arrives just in time and escapes with his alien friend. Raj and his friends then intercept Rohit and attack him. However, Rohit, now infuriated, quickly takes down the bullies. Soon, the police also arrive and seize the bag, but it's then revealed that Jadu has already escaped when Sukwani was busy calling reinforcement. Rohit is allowed to return home, and he reunites with Jadu and other friends. He is relieved, but Sonia advises him to send the alien back home for his safety. Rohit is initially hesitant, but when he realizes how sad Jadu is without his family, he agrees. Jadu then reveals that if he goes back, the powers he gave Rohit will go as well. Rohit realizes this means he will be disabled again, but nonetheless, he decides to send Jadu home. As Rohit sends out an SOS signal to the aliens, Inspector Khan and the entire police force show up outside his house. They accuse Rohit of hiding the alien and order him to hand over the creature to the police. When Rohit refuses, the authorities close in on the outhouse. Rohit tries to escape with the alien, but the police capture him and apprehend the alien. They then proceed to leave, but Rohit goes after them. It turns out that the authorities are planning to send Jadu to America for further investigation. Not willing to let his friend go, Rohit uses his superhuman speed to catch up and eventually retrieve Jadu back from the police. At the same time, the spaceship also arrives, and as Rohit bids a sad farewell to Jadu, he again reverts back to his disabled self. In the next scene, Rohit is tried by the Indian government for helping Jadu escape, but after a long court battle, he's eventually released on account of his mental state. He's then felicitated by citizens of his town for helping Jadu. One evening, Nisha and Rohit go on a walk together, where she tells him that although Jadu is gone, she still loves him regardless of his mental state. Suddenly, Raj and his buddies show up and harass the couple. Nisha urges Rohit to ignore them, but the latter kicks Raj's ball into his face. Lo and behold, it's revealed that Jadu returned Rohit's powers permanently, and Raj is sent flying. The movie ends as Rohit and Nisha thank Jadu and live happily ever after.